Alrighty, hello guys, Dark Me Faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Sprocket yet again, and today we are going to be designing an entirely new tank. Now, if you guys seen the previous video, we ended up building this thing right here, which was essentially a ramming vehicle, but it also had the ability to uh, fire 250mm rounds out of this hole right here. So, you'd ram the enemy, uh, you'd be touching the enemy, and then you'd blow them up with that gun right there. It's really cool. Anyway, what I'm going to do today is uh, actually build an AA tank. Now, honestly, the reason we're going to build an AA tank is because I think we can have guns on it that do quite a lot of damage. And, um, yeah, that's the reason why. So, let's go ahead and uh, see if we can do that, shall we? Okie dokie. So, first things first then, let's go ahead and get rid of this. There we go. We're going to start a new tank design and it is going to be awesome. In fact, I don't really know how I want it to be. So... This is going to be kind of interesting. Anyway, let's start with the box. We can build it however we want it to be built, and um, we can make it look awesome. Okie dokie. So, uh, starting off then, let's go with the tracks. We're going to do the tracks. That seems to make sense to me. So, get rid of the fenders straight away, go to tracks, and start building. Now, honestly, this thing doesn't need to be too long. However, it does still need to work, so let's go ahead and try and make sure that happens. Uh, this down there, this up here, and these guys somewhat in the... Um, ooh... Yeah, I like the idea of it going down towards the front. That's kind of kind of an interesting play. I kind of like that. Yeah. Um, the tracks on it are actually going to be very skinny because there's no point in them being super thick or anything like that. So we're going to go with 0 0.4. There we go. In fact, we could even go with 0 0.3 uh, because reasons. So 0 0.3, bosh. There we go. Excellent. Now what we need to do is get rid of these. There we go. Get rid of these. And honestly, the last thing that we need to do is actually move these guys. Boop. There we go. Uh, make those a little bit thicker. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. And that will be it. Okay, kind of like that. It's quite nice. We'll leave it as is. Uh, track segments themselves are going to look kind of modern. That makes some sense. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make the entire thing a little bit skinnier. So the separation of the tracks, 1.4. There we go. And that seems about right. Okay, good. Okie dokie. So, first things first then, let's get back to this. We're going to go ahead and make it a tiny bit skinnier. There we go. And we're also going to go ahead and bring this bit backwards like so. In fact, we're going to bring it backwards all the way to there. Um, then, I think we're going to match the angle that it goes down at. So, bring this to the front. There we go. Match the angle just like so. That's fantastic. And obviously, the bottom bit is going to come upwards too. Uh, however, maybe that should be backwards. Hey, there we go. That looks interesting. Yeah, I think that works, actually. Let's move both of these guys downwards, so both of these can come down. And that looks interesting. Yeah, I think that'll work. All right, let's go ahead and push this guy forwards, too. Everything needs to fit in there. Interesting. So, this is currently what we have. Um, it's not amazingly angled on the front, actually, so I kind of want to modify that slightly. Let's push this backwards and inside uh, of that barrel thing in the bobby. We're then going to go ahead and push this guy backwards, too, and... I think that's better. Yeah, honestly, I like that. Okie dokie. So the sprocket mount itself, instead of being those massive ones, we're going to go ahead and mount it on using these uh, these plates. Uh, the idler wheel itself, I kind of want to make that bigger. So let's go with width of that, make it a little bit wider so that it just about fits on there. There we go. Um, and I'm going to make it look like that. That's fine. Everything else, what do we need to do there? So these guys, yes. Anything else? These guys already are. And track segments, we've already changed those too. Yes. Okay. That's about right then. I'm happy with that. Okie dokie. So, next thing, we're going to go to compartments. We're going to go to faces. We're going to grab both of these and extend them sideways. There we go. It's literally just so that we can get, like, I don't know, a bit of variation in certain things. So, I'm actually really happy with that. We're then going to actually extend those guys upwards. We're going to extend this guy upwards too, right in the center. And that is looking okay. We're then going to extend these guys out and over the edges. Of course, this is an anti-aircraft vehicle. However, <laughs> there is a big however on this. It is not going to be used for taking out aircraft. And the reason being, because there is no aircraft in Sprocket. So, there you go. We're going to have to take out tanks with this thing. Pretty ridiculous, but it's what we've got. Alright, lower this down. Lower this guy down slightly too. And this guy, I guess, can go down a tiny bit as well. Interesting. It looks quite nice. Okie dokie, so now we need to change things up a little bit. Let's go to the front, grab this guy, this guy, and this guy, and do... Oh, wow, hang on. We need that one too. How do I grab both of those? I don't know how to grab both of those. Actually, I, I don't know. 
Ah, that, 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 and that. Is that gonna do it? Yes, it is. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not, because this didn't come up too. Oh, no. Oh, no! Okay, get it right in the right place. Directly on top of that one. There we go. Okay. I mean, it looks a little strange. I think it'll work, though. All right, so angle it backwards a tiny bit as well. There we go. That's fantastic. And we're going to leave that pretty much just as is. Uh, the rear of it, I'm not sure how we're going to do that either, but we'll <laughs> we'll work that out in a second. Uh, go to faces. Okay. Uh, actually, go to edges. Go to this bit. Split it. There we go. And the main bit of the tank, the gun bit, is actually going to go back here. So if we can bring this bit upwards. Wait, why is... Why have we lost space doing that? Hang on. There's an issue here. There, there's a big issue. When I split that, the, it's, the, what? Why is that horrible? Okay, split it again. There we go. It didn't split it properly this last time. Interesting. Anyway, extend this guy upwards. Oh, it's done it again. This keeps going down to two, and I'm not sure why. Does anyone know why that's the case? Because it's at seven now. All right, and then if we edit it. I don't know what's going on there. Why is that happening? Okay, I've worked out a way around it. I'm not too sure how uh, we've done that, but there you go. Anyway, grid snap is going to go in here. We're going to go ahead and make this somewhat, like, American looking. I don't know how to explain that in any way, but, like, a lot of the American stuff is very round. So, that's what we're doing here. We're having a round turret on the rear, and, um, yeah, this is where it's going to go. I think that's fine. Don't know what's going on here. Uh, let me move that back out to where it should be think which is there pretty sure don't know I don't know what's going on maybe this guy is in the wrong place who knows who knows what's happening not me okay hang on move these guys around there okay we're not gonna have it angled inwards we're gonna have it be angled outwards there we go these guys angled outwards a tiny bit that's good okay I think I think I'm happy with this as it is okay it's a little bit strange but I think it works Okay, next thing, we're going to try and fit these guys into there-ish. There we go, that seems good. We're going to go ahead and squidge it, and squidge it, and squidge it. That's what we need to do, so squidge, and then squidge it massively. There we go, and I think that's about right. However, um, if that's the case, all right, if we're going to have it like this, this guy might as well come out. All right, so this one might as well be out there. There we go. Same with this guy, might as well be out here. Fantastic. So yeah, we'll have that box on the side, we'll have it on the other side too, fan dabby dozy. What's going on here? What is actually happening here? I don't know. Um, the guy in the front as well, this bit, I think might as well do this. And I think that actually looks pretty sick. So we're going to leave it like that. Good. Okie dokie. I need some more stuff going on the outside too, so let's go ahead and whack that on. Here we go. Go ahead and spin it a little bit. Push it into the right places, which is actually in and uh, up. Yeah, no, I think that's... I think that's fair, just like so, and we can leave it just like that. I think that's fine. Okay, driver's view, we're going to go ahead and put that in straight away too. It's just going to go here on the side, and honestly, I think that's that's okay. Just go in there. Uh, anything else that we desperately need? I feel like the engine's probably going to be in the front of this, um, but really, I'm going to put it back up here. Okay, so let's go to mobility. Let's go to engine, and I think I'm just going to smack it here. So we're just going to go ahead and put that on there, just like so. And then we'll have two of these in front of that. I don't know why I always do this, but I do. So that's going to go there, and it's going to go next to it, too. Okay. Turns out we just want this size. There we go. So we can somewhat level... Somewhat fit these guys next to each other. That'd be perfect, but I can't. I can't do it. I can't, there and there. Okay. Yeah. All right, so the engine's going to go there. That's a nice place for it, I think. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, next bit, we're going to go ahead and try and put on an exhaust for the engine, and honestly, I wouldn't mind it going here. I know this is very, very weird, but I wouldn't mind it being there, actually. So, yeah, I don't know, the driver has to get around the pipes or whatever, but I think that's okay. Um, maybe. <laughs> it does look a little bit weird, though, doesn't it? It looks a little bit strange. Okay, I'm actually going to modify this a tiny bit more. If I can make this actually a little bit smaller, that's probably okay. There we go, we're gonna smack that on there. And then I want an actual commander's coupler to go above the driver's seat. That's where our commander is gonna go. They can see left, right, forwards. They can't see backwards, but that's okay. Yeah, I kinda like the idea of that. Rather than this, actually. If that was the driver's viewport, that'd be cool. Anyway, if I can move that over slightly sideways. There we go, so it all fits. I'm happy with that. 
Uh, okie dokie. The other thing that we want to add as well is probably like sleeping bags on the front. I mean, realistically, stuff like this wouldn't get shot. Um, but the, the way that we're going to use it, it is going to get shot. So we're going to have to see what happens here. But anyway, put that at the front. Put this guy right here. This guy just next to it. There. We're going to have the tarp on the front. Uh, sleeping bags even further forward than that. And on the side, we're going to go ahead and have a bucket and spade. There we go. That's actually pretty sick. I like that. Um, a log or little tiny logs might be nice uh, underneath the front. Let's go ahead and add like three of those. One, two, and three. There we go. And that's good enough for me. Okie dokie. Next thing we need to worry about is actually having this bit um, actually attached. Uh, oh, it's done it again. Why? Why is that limiting it down to that again? Why does that keep happening? I'm really confused. It shouldn't be doing it. It really shouldn't. Anyway, extend all of these. Bring it backwards a big chunk. There we go. And yeah, the game seems a little bit broken in that respect. I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, bring this down. There we go. And that could be the back of our tank, just like so. Brilliant. All right, I think it's time for the turret. I think it is time. So let's go ahead and try and put that somewhat central. Uh, make the diameter of it a little bit smaller. Move it backwards so that it fits. And we're going to have a pretty much a circular turret. That's what I want. Like, just very round. So we're going to squish it to begin with so that we can get all the right shapes. And we can go from there. So one, two. There we go. One, two. Okay, that's fine. Grab this guy and this guy. One, two. There we go. Fantastic. Attach another piece under here. We're going to go backwards, clearly. So uh, one, two, three. There we go. Ah! Hang on. One, two, three. There we go. It's very rounded so far. Um, we now need to do the same thing or a similar thing on the front. So, uh, one, two, three. But bring it forwards. Oh, this is kind of wrong, actually. This is not quite... Why can't I do a circle? Surely that should be pretty easy. <laughs> Surely a circle is pretty easy to make. Uh, but in my respect, or in what I do, it's not, turns out. I guess the middle doesn't actually start... It doesn't start the way you'd expect it to. Kind of like the way this looks already, though. But I do have to change it. Because it's not its not how I wanted it. It is not how I wanted it. But that's a lot better. That is a lot better. Alright, take this one and this one backwards. Okay, and I think we can get away with that. I do. I think we can somewhat get away with that. If we move these guys inwards. Yes, sure. Smoothing it out. So it is actually rounded. Somewhat. I'm happy with that. Good. Okay, grab all of the faces. Uh, da, 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 all the way along. Yes. And essentially, we're just going to have a round turret. So bring it upwards. There we go. And we're going to have it just like that. Very weird. <laughs> very, very weird. I wouldn't mind a bit of a shield. So realistically, I would actually have this um, be somewhat... Um, how, do I, how do I actually want to explain this? I would have it open. I'd have the rear actually open. Uh, but that's not something we can really do. So it's kind of a little bit annoying. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and attach this guy as well. Bring that upwards to there. Bring it backwards. And... Yeah, no, we can't do that. It's going to look really ugly. It's going to look super duper ugly. So get rid of this one. There we go. Get rid of it completely. And we'll leave it like that. Okay. It's round. It's it's proud. It's fine. Okay, we're good. Okay. Um, next thing. Do we want the guns on the side? Or do we want the guns... In the middle. On the side's a little bit strange, but in the middle is also kind of strange. Uh, I don't know how I want this to do. Actually, extend. We'll have them on the side. We will. We'll do this. Uh, I want it to be somewhat of an angle. So, oh, is this going to make the entire thing look really weird and ugly? Ah, yes. It looks like Dumbo a little bit. That's fine. Okay. Go to the back of this. Grab both of these. And do the same thing. One, two, three. There we go. And now we can actually attach it onto there. Extend. There. That is a weird looking thing. But I'm happy with it. <laughs> I think. Okay, so let's go to crew. Let's go to viewports. Let's get a viewport right here smack bang in the middle. And that's where it's going to go. Okay. Now we go to firepower. I want ones that can actually turn sideways too. So if I put this on here. On both sides. We can then have two below it. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Okay, so 70, 75 millimeter gun isn't actually too bad. The propellant length is going to be ginormous. We're going to go with 750. I know that's actually kind of insane, but we're going to do it. Three meters long. 
Yes. Oh, that is something. <laughs> that is something. Okay. Uh, Alright, it needs to be a little bit smaller, but honestly, I think that's fine. There we go. We're going to leave it like that. Uh, maybe. Actually, 2.75. 2.75. Go. Yes. I am excited. Okay. So let's save this as AA cannons. AA cannons. Save. Grab this one. Load up. AA cannons, wherever that is. And there we go. They're all the same. Brilliant. I mean, it looks dangerous. And that's all we really need. So I'm happy with that. Very happy. I don't want to make it too armored either. This one's going to be, like, hardly armored at all. Uh, and I think that'll be sick. We're also going to put, like, a basket on the top. As if it was open, I guess. So we're going to make it big. There we go. We're going to grab it and bring it down. Bring it down. And that looks... Yeah, that looks cool. Okay. Uh, crew hatches. Let's go ahead and smack this on the back. There we go. And that actually looks happy and exciting there. That's good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and whack some of these on the back of here. That's okay. And maybe even one of these on the back too. There. So we can actually get in and out uh, in multiple places. Brilliant. Uh, antennas. We've already got stowages. If I can make one small enough to fit in the middle of these, that'd be perfect. We're going to go ahead and smack that on there. Uh, these guys. Just going to go there. And I'm... I'm extremely excited about using this. This is going to be so cool. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put those guys on the back of there. I'm happy. I am so happy. Um, Alright. Okay. What else do we actually really need from this? I don't think there's very much else. To be totally honest with you guys. I don't think there's very much else that we need from this. So we're going to go ahead and smack these guys on here like this. We're going to get some new ones. Put them there. And that's it. Brilliant. Okay, back to compartments. Armor, yes. Um, we're going to go ahead and make the basket space actually huge. There we go. Uh, and we're going to put our rounds in the turret for the guns, I think. So let's go here. Go to ammo storage. Grab this. And there's going to be a lot. It, it is true. There is going to be so much of this. If I can spin it around, that'd be perfect. There we go. All right, so that way around. Awesome. Take them inside and leave them there. There we go. So we've actually got 48 rounds. Uh, so that's like 11 per gun, is it? Is that something? Is that right? I'm confused. Maths. 12 per gun. 12. Um, okay. That's not bad. That is not bad at all, actually. Okay. So we'll put a crew hatch on the top. In fact, we'll put two. Actually, no. We'll have one. We'll, have one. we'll uh, make it spin to the right location if we can. There we go. And I'm not going to lie, I kind of feel like a gun on the top wouldn't be too out of place. So one of these is going to go right there. Like that. Okay. Not that it needs it. Like, it really doesn't need it, but that's fine. Okay. Liveries. It's American. Um, I'm going to do that straight away, actually. It's American. Uh, we're going to go ahead and whack that on the back of the turret. There we go. And we're also going to put it somewhere else. Right here in the front. It's like a target. Yes. Okay. Um, then we need to paint it a different color. So let's try and find a green. Saturation, we'll just go massive for now. There's green. Brightness all the way down. Saturation less. It's more of like a muddy color, isn't it? The American stuff. It's more of like a mud. A muddy color. Kind of like... Kind of kind of around there? Yeah, I think that works. Sure. Okay, so what do we have? We need a loader per thing. Oh, wow. Actually. So, let's have... Do I actually need a loader per gun? No way I need a loader per gun. There is... No way. Does everybody fit in there? <laughs> everybody fits. Fire all the guns. There we go. Or... The way that we could do it is each loader is actually the, uh, the gunner as well. Because we need it anyway, so maybe that's fine. But, I'm thinking we just lower the amount of space this guy has. We don't actually have any armor yet, either, by the way. We have no armor. So maybe space, we're going to go with like half for every loader. Hopefully it still reloads quickly. Because if it doesn't, I might cry. But yeah, we need some armor. Let's spawn it in, see what it does. Five second reload time. Does it kill the other ones? 
It didn't actually destroy that tank. How? Okay, the other thing that we need to do as well, actually, is add a traverse to every single one of these guns. Uh, we need them to be able to shoot somewhat sideways. So, how do I do that? How do I do that, actually? Gun mount? Alright, so like this. It has a traverse, right? There, There is the ability to, tra tra to traverse on these? Constraints? I thought you could traverse with these ones. Can you not? I thought... I'm pretty sure you can, can't you? I'm confused. Okay, firepower. Cannon. Mount. Elevation. They don't have traverse. Why? Cannons placed on turrets cannot rotate sideways. Oh, that's really annoying. That's so annoying. Okay, I'm going to put them in separate fire groups then. Um, because otherwise we're just going to miss with a bunch and obviously that's not good. So, let's go to cannon. The fire group is going to be two. The fire group on this one is going to be two. They're going to fire at the same time. This one and this one are also going to fire at the same time on three. Okay. We're going to aim with the... In fact... If I had a gunner sight up here and a gunner sight up there, it would be way better. But we'd need an extra gunner. We're not going to do that. Okay, faces. This one, this one, and this one. Uh, and this one, and this one, and that one, and that one. And this one, and that one, and that one. And that one. Uh, there. Okay, these are all going to have to have... A little bit of our ar maximum armor. Okay. Uh, we're then going to go with maximum armor on the rest of this too. Or at least a good chunk of armor. And on that piece as well. And on that piece. And on that piece. Okay. Really, really heavy armor is what we need. Less basket space will be fine. Okay. 120. I did say I wasn't going to do very much armor, but I lied. Turns out. We're, gonna, we're not going to have much armor on the sides. Uh, probably only like 30. Okay. Let's go to the basket space, make it smaller. And there, everything fits. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go to battle now. Okay, fire group two has been selected. That is uh, both of them on one side. I can't remember which side it is. I should have remembered that. Never mind. This is a very, very interesting looking vehicle, isn't it? I like it. There's also eight of us. That's cool. That's really cool. Oh no, I haven't actually managed to put the star on the other side. Also, I didn't modify the engine whatsoever because I felt like uh, we didn't need to. But um, maybe I should have. Maybe I should have modified the engine. It's a little bit slow. I kind of feel like something like this should be quite quick. But never mind. Anyway, we've got five enemies to take out. Let's go ahead and see if we can do it. Apparently, my guys behind me are already shooting. Okay, here we go. All of mine just shot at the same time. That's not what I said to do. Oh, this is hard to aim. This is incredibly hard to aim. They're not shooting at the right time. Oh my, what is happening? They're not shooting at the right time, and I'm not sure why. I can't go forwards. We need a, we need a stronger... We need a stronger engine. Anyway. Go ahead and line these guys up. I missed. <laughs> I missed again. Okay, my cannon isn't getting through with this. Fire! Okay, that one, that one... I mean, it looks dead. That one looks dead. Is that one dead? That one's not. That one's not dead. It's not dead. Alright, there we go. That one's dead now. I think that one might be dead. Oh my. This is, um... This is quite a tricky situation here, actually. I feel like my guns aren't firing all at the same time. Alright. Maybe we need them to all fire at the same time. In fact, let's do that. Let's have them all fire at the same time. So one. Two. Oh, because I only put that one on three. Okay. Uh, one. They're all going to fire at the same... I don't even care. We got loads of ammo. It doesn't matter. Let's go. All right, we're going to waste so much ammo here. It is going to be ridiculous. However, um, we should still hit the target. Oh, lags a bit, but we're in. There we go. Uh, we should still hit the targets quite nicely, and it should actually work. So I, I think we got this. I do. I honestly think we're going to win this this map for once, maybe, if I can get up this hill. <laughs> right, here we go. We're up the hill. There is enemies on our right. So let's go ahead and face towards them and see what, what kind of damage we can do. All right, that one's dead. Now we reload. I wanted the reloading to take... Oh, wait. There is actually a fire extinguisher in this game, by the way. You just have to press F. 
There we go. We put out the fire. Fire again. Oh, didn't get through. Okay, change tank. I want one that's actually fine. Oh, never mind. What happened there? I think one of my friendlies just shot the other one and killed it. I'm pretty sure that's what's just happened. Yikes. Uh-oh, they're charging us. They're charging. There we go. All right, change tank. Next. Here we go. I think we got it. All right, change tank. We need to make sure they all die. I just shot my friendly tank again. That keeps happening. All right, that one's dead. I think that's all of the light tanks. Let's move. All right, apparently one of them's just taken out a Tiger 1. That's um, interesting. I can see it burning over there. Uh, I'm going to take mine in. And uh, oh my, look at all the rounds flying down. Down range. They've set it on fire. Oh, more rounds have just hit it again. It's shooting me. Oh, no. Okay, they've just killed that one. I'm going to make my way in still. We're, kill we're still going. I might not have to do anything here because um, the friendly tanks seem to actually be doing a pretty good job. They're all shooting and uh, seems to be working, so that's good. Anyway, we're going to continue. We're going to get a little bit closer because I can't aim for shiz. Oh, they've just killed another one. There's only two left. Uh-oh, tiger on the hill. Tiger on the hill. Oh, never mind. Tiger's dead. Um, <laughs> they're like little... Uh, little snipers back there. I mean, they have four snipers per per shot, but you know, still. Imagine if that was the case. Here's another tiger. I kind of want to shoot it before my friendly tanks do. But they're already... They're already pelting it. <laughs> nice! We did it, guys! The anti-aircraft tank has uh, destroyed... <laughs> has destroyed the tigers. That is insane, actually. That is pretty much insane. Anyway, um, for now, I'm going to end this video here. If you guys liked it, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see if I can make some more very soon. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.